Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episode. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a notification bell. And of course, leave us a comment if you want us to bring up something or just... Tell us how we're doing on the show. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. Let's jump right into it. So, Jeff, would you say we... Uh, I got a quick question to ask you. What's up? Would you say the way people age back in the day is different than we age now? Well, of course. Bro, <laughs> literally just based off of... <laughs> literally just based off of hygiene, I think that's that's just... That changes the game, period. Yeah. Just hygiene and... The type of, I don't know, the way we we take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, even most recently with COVID now, people are a lot more hygienic. No, they're a lot, they're way more cautious than than they were before. But it's like, it's subconscious. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. we were low key programmed to, you know, wash our hands after everything. And, yeah, which is what we should have been doing before anyway. So it's right. I still see motherfuckers. Fucking take a piss and then just walk out the restroom. That blows my mind. That is. I've like, seen people take shits and then just leave. Exactly. And I'm just like, you know what I noticed too? It's mostly old people that do oh that. Word. Like they don't give a shit. Like they're like, Dude. I didn't grow up in this COVID bullshit. Why am I gonna Dude. wash my hands? It's the same that shit. Nasty, That's still bro. nasty, well, you bro. Be shaking because people's hands, because literally, bro. literally now when I wash my hands, I gotta use the napkin to open the door. Oh word. <laughs> and I'm using my shirt or yeah, napkin. Exactly. And, so uh, uh, lift up the sink with my my elbow. It's just nasty, bro. I don't know. How I don't know. It's do just that. it's just in my brain. It's now. a it's a it's like a, it's I, a I'm not afraid thing. to get my hands dirty, but they're going nowhere near my face. Yeah, like I, exactly. I'd rather wipe no, my face with my shirt or something like that. Yeah, you know, I'll let the sweat burn my eyes <laughs> before I wipe that bitch with my hands. Uh, I know shit, it's crazy. Man. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. it it suffer now. To prevent the suffering in the long Oh, no, time. I completely agree, you man. I wouldn't want to do that. But in terms of, do eight people age differently? Absolutely. Yeah, of man, because I remember you showing me of those course. pictures of, of, of the, a 26-year-old back in the day and a 26-year-old today, and it's like it's completely different. And like, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was going to say you're right. Is it is it due to the technology, or is nah. it just we, we got more cre- nutrition, natural creams and n- stuff like that? Nutrition. It's just all in nutrition. Bro, you can literally just get... Any type of vitamin, mineral, fiber off the shelf. Yeah, that's true. It's not something. And they put infuse it with the bars right. and all that stuff like that. You don't even like... have to get it through growing, like cultivating farm shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Or getting it from your local groceries. Mm-hmm. If you need straight fiber, you need straight calcium, straight creatine, whatever. Mm-hmm. You can just get it off the shelf. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And then you can like overdose. Not technically, but literally <laughs> overdose That's on the nutrients true. people were suffering. Uh, a nutrient people were suffering uh-huh. back in the day just to just to you know consume or or find. You yeah, know what I'm saying so. Of course, e- in all aspects, you know, ease of life, ease of access to a lot of things. You know, medicine and shit. Yeah, it's expensive as fuck, but you know, what I'm saying it's there. Mm-hmm. It's there if you need it. It's not like some wishful thinking. You know. Like, if you have, like, a mental disorder or some shit like yeah. that. Like, you can get therapy and medicine for that versus mm-hmm. them giving you a lobotomy or putting you in a crazy <laughs> Yeah, because they dubbed, you, they dubbed you as crazy. You know so what I'm saying? So, even... Or, like, drug you on some bullshit on cocaine or something like that. Well, you know that's what, what they used to use back in the day before they found out it was bad for you, right? Didn't they usually give babies cocaine? Uh, I believe so until felt... they until they got addicted to it, right? And they like had to doing they gave that. them cocaine for like when they were teething or something like that. What I'm trying to figure out is what in their mind told them that cocaine. was That was good science. For that was science, Jeff. Come on, man. You know science is ever evolving. You, you, you always know that when we discover something new, it's like, oh, this is the cure all, and then mm-hmm. case study, <laughs> fifty years later, <laughs> you're fucked. <laughs> Sorry, that's all we knew at the time. So yeah, here are the consequences. Uh-huh. And you just live with them. You deal with it. You know what I'm saying? That's why the case study on vapes that's going to come out in, what, 30, 40, maybe by 2050? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You think it's like, uh, you think, well, um, I know cigarettes are, cigarettes are similar to vapes, but you think that the companies that actually make the vape are going to be adding more poisonous stuff to it? 
Um, or do you think they're just going to keep it base is water, uh, water vapor? I don't know. I feel like you can't really advance a vape anymore. Okay. As as much because you got the pure well, chemical wise, you got the pure nicotine out of that. Like, yeah. Who needs stronger nicotine? You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, surprised, dude. Yeah, that's true. Man. Yeah, they got they got levels to that shit. Yeah, because it's like fuck? it's like what the fuck? Well, it's it's compare it's like comparing it to a high. It's like when you get comfortable with one, you try to move up to the next. But it's different from like being high, because mm-hmm. like Nick after a while doesn't hit like the first time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like and even if you build a tolerance for like marijuana, mm-hmm. you still get a high. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not like. Your first high, but there's still a high. Like, after a certain time... Your body just gets accustomed to it. Right. Basically. After a certain time on Nick, it's just like, now you're not even addicted to the Nick. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, you kind of are. But, like, you're not chasing that rush. You're just yeah. chasing the... The uh, uh, the high feeling? Not the high feeling, but just the, the, the dosage. Or mm-hmm. just to kind of keep your brain functioning, functioning. the same I way. I got you. Because you know what I'm it, saying? It, it, it's like... Um, it's like... Um, feeding the vampire blood when they're dead Word. it's like the their body keeps moving because it needs that it craves right. it, it craves that craves it, it. it's so more it's of like, a craving than now i'm chasing that head rush uh-huh. that you, you originally got from vaping nicotine mm-hmm. you see what i'm saying and you could say the same thing for like cigarettes because people would always feel relaxed and calm mm-hmm. after hitting cigarette because at the time the tolerance for nicotine wasn't that high. Yeah, I got so you. So it's like even a cigarette was gonna give you a nice little buzz. Oh yeah, for sure. You see what I'm saying? But, but like, now they have to start making more flavors but as and making it stronger. Vape started, you know, becoming popular. People were getting that direct nicotine rush mm-hmm. and then people were asking for more. Yeah. So they made stronger vapes. Yeah. With like salt nicotine and shit like that and infused with all these chemicals and oils just to bond more of that nicotine rush uh, 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 molecule to it you know what i'm saying so yeah you're you'll get crazy head rushes from vapes now but after a while it's just is that like the chase though that's the question i don't think it's the ch- I, th- I think it's always the chase but you already know you're not going to get that same rush mm. so you're trying to right i got it's, you. it's like you're chasing the ghost of the high of the head rush yeah you're no longer chasing the head rush. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, can I at least get close to the feeling of when I'm coming down from that head rush? And that's essentially what you're chasing. Because mm-hmm. you know you'll never get that, wow, you know, put you on your ass type I got head you. rush. So my question for you is, uh, ever since you stopped vaping, like, how, how, what do you, what can you do or what can, what advice can you give people that are trying to get off of it but can't get off of it? Um, for me, it's just, I'm a lot focused. But I'm a, I, I'm way more active, and it doesn't kind of cloud cloud what I'm trying to do, and I don't feel that need to that that sense of stress that there's something I'm missing. Mm-hmm. I gotta look for it. Mm-hmm. I gotta look for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was a sucky feeling, especially like when you're just kind of relaxed, and then that bug enters your brain, and it's like, where's my vape? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. I slowly start realizing, okay, I don't have that feeling to frantically look for my vape, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah, it, it, it reduces your stress levels because, of course, you know, like, in the beginning, you're using it to manage your stress, but then it becomes the source of your stress. Of your stress. You see what Because I'm without it, you become stressed out. You know, so, yeah, it, it, it gets pretty... It gets pretty... Uh, Lucrative. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You know what and what advice would you give those who are trying to get off of it? Um, Man, for me, it's kind of like, it's different. <laughs> yeah, because everybody has their strength like, level of what they you can. Remember when I explained the whole Butterfinger analogy yeah, to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, for me, it's just like, okay, I can switch it off. Mm-hmm. But then it's just the, the, the process of... Okay, I don't need it. So once you really do get that urge, mm-hmm. find something to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Find something to do. Like if you got to, like for me, if I wanted a rush, I'd probably just eat sugar or something like that. Yep. Just eat a whole bunch of sugar. Mm-hmm. But not saying like replace your addiction with another addiction. Addiction. But it's like. Especially one that's going to clog better your than, arteries. Yeah. That, like sugar is better than. Uh, 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 
vape nicotine. Nicotine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to constrict your blood vessels. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you'll end up. Your uh, lungs are being you're, destroyed. Yeah, you're frying your lungs. You know, I'm not here to shame anyone because it's like, you know, whatever. What? From smoking From cancer? Smoke. Hey, it is what it is. People have their, people have something that keeps them going. You know what I'm saying? And at one point in time, that's what kept me going. But after learning about why things were happening to me, yeah. like why my hair was thinning, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like my Yeah, because good. you're always like, I need to get keeps, I need to get keeps. Right. And my hair stop. My hair was thinning. It was falling out. Yeah. Uh, I was breaking out. I was, uh, uh, like, I was sweating all the time, overactively sweating, mm -hmm. you know, and it was just bad. I couldn't regulate my body temperature. Started... Uh, uh, what you call it? My blood vessels got constricted, so I started getting cold feet. Mm -hmm. You were cold all the time, and it's already cold in yeah, this house. I was cold all the time. You know what I'm saying? And then of course the whole stress of, oh man, I gotta, where's my vape? Mm -hmm. Where's the vape? Yep. You know. So it's just like, and it sucks because you look like a certified tweaker. <laughs> like you literally are tweaking. Yeah. Like you could be with your friends having a good ass time, and then the whole mood changes because you're missing your vape. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's the end of the world. And, you know, like some people will end up fighting people. Yeah, you for sure, man. Definitely. So like, don't fuck with people's vapes. <laughs> don't fuck with people's so your, vapes. So your advice to them would be to see if you can find something that can... Yeah. That, find another that, addiction that's that less isn't... less dangerous yeah. than the addiction yeah. that Find you an did. addiction less dangerous than vapes. Because yeah, you got to clarify, because sometimes right. certain things... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, not a certified I'm therapist. Do cocaine. What the fuck? <laughs> At least I'm not vaping. What the fuck? What the hell? Yeah, it's find, the find an addiction less dangerous yeah. than vaping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not worse, but you know, less it, it's than that. it's really all in here. That's that's really just what it is, to be honest. That's just what it is, to mm -hmm. be honest. But uh, yeah, I've I've had a lot more head clarity since i stopped vaping. that's good man i know i know i know you've been focusing on your art more creating more Word. because i know you're gonna do like a massive right i'm gonna sell all this yeah absolutely yeah. get all my art canvas but that yeah. that's that's something i gotta if if i could get a contract with the people mm -hmm. canvassing my shit yeah. that way i can get a better deals and stuff and what would you say you try to do like make one or two out of each or just one just one just one of one just one of ones. That's it. How would you... I would ask you, how would you sell yourself, though? Because... How would I sell myself? Yeah. On the corner, Jeff. In a mini skirt. You and what? Heels. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> how would I sell myself? What the fuck? No, I'm just asking because I remember I was listening... I think I was listening to... Um, I think I was listening to a person to, uh, talk about his friend. It was a podcast I was watching on uh, on YouTube. He was basically saying, my my best friend... Um, my best friend does art, but mm -hmm. the biggest thing with her art is she priced it at one hundred thousand dollars. But this is the issue: she's never sold a piece of art before. That's fine. So, so no, uh -huh, let me finish. Uh -huh. Let Go me ahead. finish. Go ahead. So she never sold a piece of art before. So she notices she noticed that nobody was buying her art because they didn't know who she was. So as she started bringing down the price, then she actually found what the value of her art was worth. And it wasn't like, I'm not saying her, your art's worth slim to none, but when she started bringing down the price to... So her first piece, she said it at $100,000. Yes. That's smart. That's it. But yes. That's the genesis. But, but yes. <laughs> I'm going to set... All right. You're not listening. <laughs> no, okay, okay. You're not okay. listening. All right, all right. All right she okay. set her first piece at $100,000. Mm -hmm. Nobody bought it. So she had to drop it. It's like you overprice... overprice it's like you overpricing a, a plot of land and expecting people to pay that price. A plot of land that's probably worth $20,000, you are going to try to sell it. That's different. No, like, no, no, I'm like, just giving you. I'm, right, I'm no, giving, I, I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, so, so she, so yes, she said that hundred thousand dollars, but she didn't leave it at hundred thousand dollars because she had to keep bringing it down to figure out. Nah, I would have just made the second piece lower. So what he was saying was basically, don't price yourself too high out the market without understanding how much your art is worth. You gotta understand, you gotta build your value as an artist or whatever you do. So basically, what you would do is, I would have told her if her art was really that good. I would have said set it at twenty thousand and see who bites. 
then your next piece you can bring in that thirty or forty thousand. Then your next piece you can bring in that fifty or sixty thousand. But don't start off high at the jump and expect people to jump on it without knowing what it is. It's like like you said with all the famous artists, Picasso, uh, Da Vinci. Nobody yeah, they made hundreds of pieces and only four or five of them were masterpieces. Exactly. Picasso made hundreds, hundreds of, pieces. of pieces. Yes. And only like a handful are considered masterpieces. Priceless. And right. I know some of them. They sell for like five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars now. Way more. Well, well yeah, but I'm, I'm just, give, I'm just kind of giving you know, a ballpark. Right, right. Number. Not giving even you ballpark. Boy, we in space. One point two, one point four, one point five. We buy dummy money. Let's just Boku say, money. <laughs> let's, just, let's just say one point two to one point five. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, don't go high off the jump because nobody knows who you are. You have to sell yourself. Why? Why should I buy your product? And what makes your product different from that other person's product is how I'm trying to tell you. Yes, you can because you're like, yeah, I believe in my art, but nobody's going to buy it because they don't know who you are as a person. But so, art is so different. Art is such a... But I'm using art as an example right. based off of the t podcast that I watched where he was like, my friend sold herself too high, mm -hmm. so nobody wanted to buy. When she started dropping it, then she started getting bites because now she was understanding where she was in the marketplace as of, as of art, art pieces. So when she understood that, then she built off of that. Then she can eventually sell an art piece for $100,000. You can't just start off at $100,000 and then expect to somebody to buy because then the expectations, the bar is set high. So you got to go even higher because you're like, well, if that one's worth $100,000 and one person buy it, then you're going to have that. That's, that's a weird thing. So like for me, the way I would do that, mm -hmm. I would rather build relationships with personal clients uh -huh. rather than just sell my shit to the world. Because my clients will always, like, understand the value of my art. Mm -hmm. And I know I can, like, you know, have a certain price range with them. And, you know, if they can, they'll they'll do the exposure for mm -hmm. me. You see, but that's different. You see, and, and keep this. Keep your thought. The reason why I say that's different is because let's say, let's say Caleb. You know Caleb personally. Mm -hmm. He loves your art. Like, he sees your page. He loves your art. Then you canvas it. And let's say Caleb is a millionaire right now. And then he buys your, he prices your personal art at uh, $500,000. And he connects you to other successful rich people and says, this is my friend. This is his art. His art's unique. It tells a story, blah, blah, blah. Then that's different. Then you're like a private art, um, art seller to art collectors. But if you're trying to do a one of one for the people, like art buyers that are willing to that that aren't millions and billionaires, mm -hmm. then you're going to have to price your art at a at a range that they can afford it because the, your price. Well, here's you gotta understand. When but you get what buy, I'm saying. When people, I understand. What okay, you're saying. all right. But when people buy art, it's not because oh I want to buy this art. <laughs> it's to hide their fucking money. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. You know what? Money laundering. Oh, uh, shit. Come on, bro. Well, I get it. I get you it. You just need to have so a you're nice gonna look, piece. So what you're saying is you're going to look for money launderers? Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. <laughs> what the fuck? You ain't even denying it. What the hell? Goddamn, nigga. What the hell? You what the hell, to, bro? You trying to hide your offshore funds? Buy my shit, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> At least it'll look nice. What the heck? But yeah, like... No, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But it's like, for me... Like, my whole model would be, I would price my first piece. The uh -huh. first piece I've ever made absurdly high. Of course. Yes. because Absurdly it, high. And no one's ever going to touch it until you right. become known. Right. So, let's say your first original art, like your old school cartoon style arts. Those are very unique because nobody else has them. Especially the one that I like that you, you need a... I hate it. <laughs> I hate that. I regret making that. I love it. It's That's, man, well, if I when are you going to remake it? Yes. When you going to remake it? Not even just remake it. it. If you make it, if you put it into a, a canvas, dude, I'll buy it from you. <laughs> you can put it at a certain amount. When I make money, I'll buy it from you. All right. <laughs> give me your house. <laughs> put your house on it. Put my house on collateral. Yep. Put my house on All right. Put your house so, on. no, what I'm saying is, yeah, that, that makes sense. Like... You, you can put that in a certain amount, and then you work down from there. So I get it. The modern art pieces are very awesome. Like mm -hmm. the Space Well series, you can sell it at a at a good price, like ten to ten to twenty thousand dollars, if that's how you feel. But that's what I'm saying. But I wouldn't just one hundred thousand off the bat. Make the original, make the first original one that you did create one hundred thousand dollars. I get that, but don't sell it. 
Yeah, it's never gonna sell. What the fuck? But don't sell because it's not. That's why I'm saying it. Yeah, it's not. So, the, like I said, when you get when you get <laughs> money laundering, when you get introduced, it is, when you it get is. <laughs> when you get introduced to those drug dealers and money launderers, you didn't see Jay Z's video. <laughs> Come on, man! Why oh, think no. buy art. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> it were two million. Two million. That's money laundering. Get the fuck out of yep. here. What, what? Just to hide their money. No, but that's that's what I'm saying. I'm basically saying it like that. Like that's that was the that was the moral of that. Because yes, your art is unique and different, but so is everyone. <laughs> everyone has a different perspective. There's a bajillion. There's a billion different artists, bro. And then that also depends on what you consider art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why it's like. When you're an artist, it's like, bro, you got to live in your own world, bro. Yeah. You got to live in your own world. You got to be your biggest fan mm -hmm. because it's like, I could have some cool shit and then someone else probably does the same thing I do. Yeah. But they pop off. Even if I'm doing it longer, they kind of follow the same rubric follow the same and then rubric. they pop off. Like I say, that's why it's like, I will build personal clients mm -hmm. rather than just dump my shit out into the world. I got you. You see what I'm saying? But this isn't, I'm not doing it for money. Like, mm -hmm. I actually like doing this shit. You know? I like creating the environments that I think about in my head. You know? Yeah. So, money is, is whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I hear you, man. But I just want to canvas them because I want to see how well they translate onto canvas. You know, and the first two that I did were amazing so i would like to do the whole space well all, all series all canvas yeah all canvas that, i got you that'd be awesome like even if i kept them in my own space mm -hmm. like that'd be really nice you know what i'm saying i just kind of want to see that and now like i have it actualized you know and no one else is gonna have it so yeah okay yeah yep, that yep, sounds yep, like yep. a game plan yep 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 you got any plans to go to new york anytime soon New York? Nah. 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 Nah, I ain't nah. going, man. If you do, you might. Nah, because... I it... have to bring out that COVID mask kit, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. It's bad out there, man. They ain't no breaks, It's bad out man. there. They ain't getting no breaks. It's bad out there, man. And all that's from Canada, right? Yeah, yeah. So How many fires did they have burning over there? It looks like it's going all across the entire How state. How many fires in Canada? Doesn't even really give you a specific number. Nothing at all. Alrighty. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. So 400 wildfires are burning. That's crazy. Damn. And they can't even contain it. It's dumb as shit, bro. It's like, it's just wilderness. I don't even think they have enough people to, to really battle that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how does. Canadian firefighting compared to the U.S. You know, so I don't know if mm -hmm. they, I don't know enough about, you know, their whole. What do you call it? Public servitude or whatever. <laughs> See. <laughs> so my question is: is is it just uh, Canada trying to? Is it just Canada trying to put out the fires by themselves, or are they trying to ask the U.S. for for help? No, and, Damn. So it's just all the all the all the firefighters across Canada. I'm guessing. That, yeah. That's crazy. I'm guessing. And some crazy shit that I heard was like, oh, these fires were fires that were smoldering since the winter, and then once the frost thawed out, they reignited. Yeah, because like there can be like internal, like trees can burn from the inside out, and the fire is contained. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, it's like some weird shit. It's some weird ass shit. I was I was reading up on it. Where it's like there could be a fire or like prime example. This isn't what caused this, but like prime uh -huh. example. You know how when like lightning strikes a tree? Yes. And it burns from the inside out? That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. you've seen that, right? Yeah. Well then, yeah, I remember when I had to call nine one one. Right. And the tree, the tree looks perfectly fine on the outside, but the inside is literally smoldering. smoldering. You know, and once and it break, stayed smoldering it stayed the entire smoldering. winter. Right, right. No, that's crazy, man. I guess it was like an equilibrium of heat, <laughs> <laughs> heat and cold. Yeah. So it just kept it, you know, hot enough to keep burning or smoldering, but mm -hmm. cool enough to not like 
of course there's snow everywhere. So you think the uh, so your personal opinion? Do you think that somebody started it or this this? Well, if you look at the satellite footage, mm-hmm. that shit looks sketchy as fuck. You just see like seventeen plumes of smoke just pop just up. Just started out of popping up. Uh, uh, pop up out of nowhere. So I don't know. I don't know how that. I don't know. That'd be kind of weird if they purposely purposefully were poisoning the see air. but this is the crazy thing that it's affecting it's affecting the, the entire northeast northeast and we're not yeah. even getting touched at all like I, like uh um like a manager at my job today named sarah she was literally telling me yeah i downloaded an app that tells me the smoke the air quality the air quality i'm like that's a thing that's when wild. did they create that overnight so they well, can I'm make sure, money don't, don't they have them on weather apps i don't even think you need to download a specific app for that shit she did well she has an iphone you know, I feel like Yeah, we, we had kind of an argument about iPhone the other day, and you know, it's garbage. So that's tough. Yeah, that's tough. What was it? Quick note: They came out with the iPhone 15, and it's the same thing. <laughs> it's yep. the same thing. It's just the same a, thing. A they seat. just moved the light, <laughs> the, the the flashlight. It, it's the same shit. It's it doesn't. The same it doesn't make phone. any sense to me, man. Same fucking phone. <laughs> that's Sa- tough. Same fucking phone, bro. I don't that's get it. tough. I don't get it, man. That's that's nuts to me. That's fucking nuts. It's the same phone. But anyways, um, yeah, man. So, like, of course, the first couple days, you see the pictures coming out. And it just looks cyberpunk. Yeah. Like, you you were literally saying it. Like, like we yeah. are, we're already talking about AI and nanotechnology and air quant- quant- quantum computing wow. and all that stuff like that. It's like we got to speed up the movies that yep. happen. You yep. know what I'm saying? Because we're trying to, we're predicting our own future. So That's crazy to me. That's actually crazy to me. If, like, we were purposefully mm-hmm. ruining shit to look exactly like the dystopian aesthetic that yep. we put in films back in the 90s or some shit like that. I don't know. That's just crazy to me. So now, like, they're warning everyone to uh, wear N95 masks and shit like that. And I think it broke a record where it was, like, the worst air quality in New York since... 1960 or something like that. What's the name of that skinny black guy that does all all the tech? MK, M, M, MKBHD? Yeah, MKBHD. So basically they came out with this weird mask that he bought for like $1,000, but he didn't like it. So apparently it's been popping up all over TikTok. They've been using it? Yes, they they like Does it actually work? I don't some that shit. that's what that's what some of them are doing. They're like, "Oh yeah, I bought this mask for blah blah blah. I'm going outside to check the oh air quality God. and see the, the 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 woman the the woman in New York City was like, "I'm wearing my um N95 mask, but I got this air purifier in front of my face." So they just wanted to see if it worked. So if it doesn't work and you oh, die. Yeah. Stocks stonks are tanking. Stocks are tanking your Stonks are tanking. You can sue them when they're you're dead. Black. <laughs> this is the this you is, what? they're like they made them for covid we're like fuck covid's over let's yep poison the air poison the air bro that's crazy to me that's crazy that's Everything. amazing and like the 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 whole piss aesthetic that they have going on yeah it's like someone was like New York City, Mexico. <laughs> I'm like, get the that's fantastic, bro. I'm like get out cuz you ain't never seen every time like there's a video in Mexico. It's like this orange haze. Yeah, yeah. Like the sun is always rising. Yeah, it's, it's like it's this always rising haze. and then it's always setting. It's like yeah. it's never up in the middle of the sky where it's you can so see weird. it. It's so weird. It's so weird. Like you just cross the border, it goes from like green fields and sunny skies to mm-hmm. like just orange haze. Yep. It's just like what the fuck? I don't know, man. That's gonna be weird. And they, I, I still don't think they have control over that fire that's burning over there. No, they don't, which is why they're telling people as of today to stay inside to make sure that they don't um, breathe it in. Work. And now a lot of people I love are buying. how easy it is for them to just tell people, yeah, don't make money <laughs> and miss your yes, rent. Yes, the news people will tell you what happened while we get paid sitting in our seat doing nothing but telling you the news. <laughs> but reading off of a script. What the fuck? Exactly. That's crazy. No, but that that is crazy. Like... Dude, every year always trumps the previous. Do you think we kind of, because we set that expectation, we look for, you know, events that we could say, oh, man, this was worse than last year. Yes, I think. Because that's kind of like, we're looking for that. We're looking for evidence that shit is getting worse. Not saying it's not, but it's like, 
when that's the only thing you're looking at, mm-hmm. oh man, I wonder how bad next year's gonna that's get. That's the only thing you'll find. That's the only thing that you're gonna find. Yeah, that's the only you thing. You see what I'm find. saying? So of course you're gonna ignore all the positive shit that's happening. Yep. And, and it's just like, kind of search for apocalyptic news. Well, because it's like, because it's like, it's like it started out with this. We had shootings. We always have shootings. What? Well, no, not last year. I'm just what? saying in general. What? We we've had shootings. We've had now. Now violence is just a normal thing. Like you see a person get hit by a car, the first thing you do is what? Pull out your phone. You yeah, see a person drive by well, shooting. I don't pull out my phone. Well, like, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Well, because we've never been put in an event where we would have to pull out our phone. I'm just not saying it's not going to happen, but I'm just saying, like, if we were ever to, it's it's like go help the person, not mm-hmm. pull out your phone and start recording. That's weird to me. Yeah, that, that's, that's weird what people do. Because it's like, <clears throat> no matter where I go, mm-hmm. in a social setting or anything, mm-hmm. I always put my phone away. Sometimes I'll leave my phone in the car. Because it's that weird. Yeah, like, because I'm not attached to my phone. Mm-hmm. Like, I could scroll for like five minutes. And then drop it. And I'm good for the You're day. You're a 90s baby, sir. And I'm just good for the day. Technology like, wasn't prevalent when I don't you know. were alive. I don't know. I just like I don't know. Like today was a solid day. I wasn't on my phone all day. Mm-hmm. I was. Uh, we went. So, mom called. Uh, Donko, the the guy who helps her with her, her landscaping. Her landscaping. And stuff. Yeah. Yep. And we planted like, bro. She had eight avocados, man. Fully grown. F- not well, about yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight avocados that she wanted. Hopefully they don't die as soon as she, she takes. No, them. no, no. Because yeah. we got that black soil. We had the Epsom I had all soil. that. None of it worked. Well, because then again, that that area. Nigga, there. you don't even care in, about them plants, bro. In, the Indian area. Indian burial. Ground. Nah, you don't care about them plants. That's what it is. <laughs> like, as from the time that I've lived with you, you are not a plant guy. I'm not. You don't have the patience to watch plants and and take no, care of them. Because I'm too busy. The remember the 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 person I was with it was the reason why I started getting into right. that. So what? But I would, she would take care of them. But now that she's no longer in the picture. I'm, but you don't care about the plant. Like I would still care about the plant. I I water those, but it's been raining. So why do I need to water them? They're still no. Alive. Even before, remember when they died? When the freeze came, you didn't take any preparations. You I put it. water on it. It still died. Remember when I was spraying it with water the night before every night? It's supposed to be running water. The water's supposed to run. Because you just spray water on it. Now, once the freeze comes, the water that's just sitting on it is literally just going to freeze. A constant running. It's like the opposite of thawing chicken. You need running water. You don't just fill up a container of water and then, you know what I'm saying? I'll pay somebody to. It's that constant transfer of heat from the air to the water. To the water. And it doesn't transfer onto the plant. I'm just not a plant guy, dude. You just don't got patience. That's what it is. Nah, not for plants. anything that takes time. Nah. Yeah. Nah. No, I got patience for this. Nah. You know I got saying? patience for this. I I think I don't have patience for things. Um, I feel is a means to an end. Like there's no, there's not a real purpose. There's purpose, but there's not like a real purpose to, to it. To knowing how to garden. I know how to garden. I just don't have the time. Do you know how to garden? Yes. Like, Nah, you know how to plant shit, but you don't know how to garden. That's it. You can plant shit and build shit. It can feel my energy. I only like inanimate objects. But I've never seen you like really tend to, you know, pull weeds. Like every time I go to mom's place, trim hedges, pull weeds, water, make sure they have the nutrients, Mm. you know, clear the underbrush, uh, rake the, the, the... the fallen shit and all that. Make a pile. Put it in the mulch pile. Uh-huh. Mix it with the black dirt. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Turn the soil. Watch it. N- know when to give it water. Is mm-hmm. it going to rain today? No. Is it not going to rain today? Bro, that's a lot. I got to pay people to do that. I don't know what to tell you. That's a lot. I don't know what to tell you. Look. Life throws curveballs. And I got one. And I ended up with that. I'm taking care of Bruce. That's tough, because Bruce is literally, if he did not have a voice and didn't bark, uh-huh. <laughs> you would not know I, Yeah, name. I know. It's the same thing like a cat. Cats be, can literally become non-existent because, because you don't have to they're not care. as vocal and they don't require you to, 
take care of them. Maintenance them besides uh, right. feed them feed, and, and clean their shit. Box. Clean their shit. Make sure they're... Even with their shots, it's like every five years or something like that. No, it's every year depending on what you get. They have a five-year shot, but you pay more. But you pay more. They have one, three, and five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so... You know what I'm saying? But it's just like... I get it. It's all right, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm not I'm not going to defend that. I, no, no, I, I just don't have the time. If I had time and I felt like it, I would do it. But plants aren't really my thing. Remember, you literally like what you, who you are with likes. I guess. And that person loved plants. She's no longer in the picture, so I don't really tend to you the don't plants. Like plants. No, you, I you don't. hate plants. You going to start forest fires? I don't hate plants. You going to start man. forest fires, Jeff? Hell yeah, I'm going to burn it You're anti smoky the bear? <laughs> God damn. Is God it too damn. soon? <laughs> you're anti smoky just like, I'm, a, I'm, a I'm burning arsons. down the entire forest. You know why I burn forests? <laughs> because only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> really? really? No. That's such a huge responsibility to put on someone. Yeah. Smokey the bear said it, my guy. So you better. Uh... Fuck Smokey. Bro. <laughs> I still fuck Smokey. Uh, shit. No, man. But yeah, it's not. It's not like. I mean, I water them when I have a chance. But the rain's been taking care of it for the last couple of weeks, so that I'm not worried about. Even the aloe plant. Look how big it got. Cause that's self sustaining. Yeah, it doesn't need water. It's literally so. I just need to get plants that are self sustaining. Right. That's exactly what you need to get. Absolutely. So I have to redo the garden and just put. You need new mulch. Succubus. Succulents? Succulents. There you go. Succubus. <laughs> Oof. You what? Hey, man. Oof. Hey, uh, man. Shit. <laughs> hey, you know? You know what I'm saying? So, effort. E, like for effort. e for effort. Yeah, so, no, I, I, I hear you, man. I, I agree. It, I mean, it is what it is. No, like but I you said. have skills in other, other areas and shit. Exactly. And those aren't, that's not my strongest. So, it's like. I don't have patience to build shit. Because it has to be done now. And I like to take my fucking time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can, that, that's where the, the, we, we're opposite. Mm. It's like I like to take my sweet ass time. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because the more time I can put into it, the more perfect it will be. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Even though there's no such thing as perfect. But still. Yeah. Like if I have, if there's something I got to build right now. Da, 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 well, like I said, I have, like, when it's like coming to constructional things, I have patience for those. How, like what do you mean? But it, uh, it, like I, I'll take the time to do it right. I'm not gonna go through it fast so it messes up. But my thing is, if we have the time, why are we wasting it doing nothing? Let's say we dedicate the entire day. Because I want to do it right. That's the problem. You want to get it done. I want to do it right. So I can see the final result. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's a difference. <laughs> you want to get it done. I want to do it right. Oh uh, shit! But I you're do it you're right. you're doing right takes longer that's fine but it looks fucking perfect bro what the heck all right prime example mom's curtains <laughs> motherfucker didn't even know how to take the blinds off instead of taking the time to find where the screws were this man said fuck it i'm gonna peel the drywall off oh, man. with the blinds you see what i'm saying i want to do it right you want to get it uh, done yeah. but it's two you, different you things. even said man i almost pulled a jeff right now I was ripping it off Duh. because i was annoyed like you just gotta take your time figure out how this thing works yeah and then reverse engineer it yeah you know and it just makes things so much easier i still like building though especially of course you do absolutely but you wreck it, Ralph, in the process. <laughs> what the fuck? Big ass hands. You be destroying shit while you build it. Like, the fireplace is built 18 holes in the wall, bro. <laughs> Random nails. What the fuck? Wires coming they out. They don't need to know that, especially when they come over here. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm just giving an example. That's yeah. not what, no, the firework, fireworks, the fireplace looks great. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just giving an example. That's literally what I've witnessed while watching you build. Yeah, I hear you. Man. That's why I usually just stand on the side and I'm like, all right, Jeff. Before you do that, let's look at what's happening here. Mm -hmm. And then we find exactly like the weak points, yeah. what we need to what we need to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. We're just that's how we're opposite. You're like, it needs to get done, move on to the next. It's like, no, it just needs to be done right, so I'm gonna take my sweet ass fucking time. I got you. So No, that makes sense. No, I agree. But it's good though, because it's like a balance. Yeah. It's a good balance because it's like, all right, maybe I am taking too long. 
Let's just wing it, and then we'll improvise, but improvise in the smartest way possible. Because the way I notice that you always do things, especially when we build things, it's like, your mindset is, all right, let me get, use the movie shelf as an example. You'll do one, two, three, rest for about two, three Absolutely. hours. Absolutely. One, rest for another three hours. Go eat. But it'll get and for me, I'm like, if we can get half done today and half done tomorrow, we're fine. You're like, one, two, three, rest for three hours. Absolutely. Four, five, six, rest for another three Absolutely. hours. Absolutely. Then say, nah, we'll finish the rest tomorrow. We'll finish it tomorrow. And I'm like, <laughs> but it'll be perfect. <laughs> it'll be perfect. You know, we gotta let the we gotta let the anchor set uh, into the shit. wall. You kill you know me, saying? bro. You kill me. We when gotta you let do everything shit like that. settle in before we continue, because right. you don't want to add too much stress on it. Uh, I bet. You know what I'm saying? All at once. I bet. It has to absorb the weight distribution. Impact. I bet. Just bullshit. No, I <laughs> bet. But no, I mean, like, I mean, we sidetracked. But going going back to like the whole the whole um, smoke thing in New York, man. That, I mean, I don't know. Like, there's not anything that they can do to, like, no. or they just have to deal with it. Yeah. And the the question is, how bad is it going to get, like, to the point where nobody... Because they're even talking about the smoke going into their apartment. Right. To the point where they have to buy air purifiers to keep their... And not even... I'm like, pretty sure they're going to go through, like, five of them. And not even everybody can afford an right. air purifier. Yeah. Keep, keep in mind, New York New York City is very expensive to live in, and there's a lot of poor people. I'm pretty in sure there's City. a word. Someone's either... This is already a, a thing, or someone's going to call it, de, uh, dub it, environmental classism. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, all the rich, all the rich people can do this. They're gonna poison all the poor people mm-hmm. to try to sell the apartments. That's crazy. Gentrification. That's, oh, you can't afford air filters. Move, <laughs> move out. Leave. Yes. What the fuck? Go. Become homeless, <laughs> or go to Florida. <laughs> oh man. Oh uh, shit, man. I can't wait till Florida's a megalopolis. It's getting there. It's gonna be the most craziest. It's gonna be a circus state. Bro. It's getting there. It's gonna be amazing, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait. So two weeks are coming up. We're going to Miami, right? Not Miami. Yeah, yeah. For no, that's next weekend. Is that next weekend? It's next weekend. No. Yeah, you're right. In two weeks. The seventeenth is not next week, but the week after. The week fall. The following week. Yes, right? the following week. Right, because that still gives me time yeah. to buy a gift. So we're going to our. Sisters. Sisters baby shower. Baby shower. So, baby. so that's going to be amazing because we, usually the baby already exists. <laughs> really? Well, she's, I mean. What do you mean? She already has a daughter from Haiti. Word, but. Yeah. Put that in context. I mean, usually the baby, oh, oh. The baby already exists. Like, like. I've never been to like a family baby shower that we always go to our friends' baby oh, showers. Oh, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So this is going to be the first family baby, baby shower. shower. No, I feel that. Yeah, our older sister. Yeah, that is. Yeah, our older sister, DJ. It's going to hit different. Yeah, our older yeah, sister, DJ. Yeah, because, uh, bro, we're going to protect that kid with our lives. What the fuck? Hell yeah. Crackhead uncle. What Hell the yeah. <laughs> the what Funkles. The fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. And it's a boy, too, right? So we're mm. we going to be like, here's a new gonna be PlayStation fired. 9. PlayStation <laughs> You know Play- these, you know these Gen Alphas are growing up in uh, technology. Uh, so, that's actually, yeah, that's fast. Yep. So, got twenty twenty three baby on our hands. So, Gen Alpha. That's crazy. Oh, that kid's yeah. about to be born twenty 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 three, 2023, bro. Damn, you might live to see uh, the year three thousand. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Nope, I can't believe. Hey yo, what the fuck? That's what the chick said on TikTok. <laughs> All right, guys, it was fun. We'll see you later. I stop playing. Goodbye, Jack. I stop playing. <laughs> we'll see you later. Oh we'll shit, bro! Later. I can't believe. Oh man. shit! I can't, bro. Believe I can't it. believe she said that. Yeah, but that kid's gonna be born to. I mean, he's gonna live to see twenty one hundred. Yep, twenty one hundred. Uh, kid will probably be in it in eighties. His eighties, yeah. His eighties. His eighties when he's the year twenty one hundred. So any kid burnt, boy, yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's different. How old am I gonna be? 
2100 you're going to be, be 100 i'll be mulch that's what i'll be with technology you I'll won't be, be. <laughs> your dust particles will be floating in the air <laughs> they're going to upload me into a vr game yep he's going to be able to interact with me interact with your deceased loved ones and my soul is trapped in this fucking game oh uh, shit what the hell what the hell oh man but no man so um no i just wanted to i just want yeah we're going to to dj's baby shower on you want to stop by anywhere to get some food food beach shit anywhere out there i go to the beach well i mean what well, because don't you work on sunday or did you request nope, it? i requested oh, you requested the entire weekend, weekend off, off? Wait, wait, well, oh, that's what's up man what i i hope they approve my my uh heads up and not my request because it wasn't a request. It was a heads, heads up. Heads up? Oh, you just let them know that you weren't going to be there that no, weekend. No, 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 no. I requested it. But it's also a heads up. I just followed the procedure. <laughs> so whether you schedule me or not. I'm going to be there. I'm not going to be there. <laughs> like, that's the point. Like, I went through the, the, the channels, yeah. the right channels, yeah. did the right thing. Hey, I'm requesting these days. Mm-hmm. But this is also a heads up. That even if you don't accept it, I'm not going to be there. Fuck it, right? I'm not showing up. Fuck it. What the fuck? What the fuck? I can easily find Oh, say say hi to Victor. He's in the he's in the chat. Oh, shoot. Yo, Vic, what's up, man? He said, you're... You're... <laughs> My man said, you're... you're... But no. Um, yeah, so it, it, that's why I meant by it's... Um, this is going to be the first one in the family because... We've been to, I've, I've been to Anthony's baby shower. I've been to um, friends' baby showers, but I've never been to, um, I've never been to um, uh, our own family baby shower. Yeah, because like, what? The gang's all here. That's it. That's the family. The gang's all here. Yep. Everyone else is, I don't know. Yep. I mean, we don't conversate with anybody else. Either deceased or we don't out know there. about yeah. yeah yeah we don't know about she's literally the only one we know about so that's tough no but that's gonna be exciting i'm, I'm excited for this because this is like i said this is a different this is different this is a new chapter and not just her life but ours so yeah sure. that's gonna be interesting to that's true what what so what this what fuck what this but in that now nah, we finally got our our our, our uh, yes <laughs> all right that's it we got our we we are our business bank account. That's it. After that, we're not going to tell them what we're going to do. No, we can't. You can't tell them. It's a secret. What was it? <laughs> 48 Laws of Power? Yes. Oh, that's a good song. You guys should fire. listen to it. That was fire. But, yeah, man. Um, I mean, got anything else that uh, you want to bring up? Uh, besides the plant thing, that's really all I did. I just labored in the fucking sun damn i'm sorry dude that shit trips me out dude i will be in the sun for 10 minutes and you'll get dog and i become dog and black my good and black and dark <laughs> it's crazy Jeff got really feeling I, black, like though. that blows my mind how my skin literally has like transition film in it like that's crazy to me i'm like transition glasses uh, i get in the sun and i get so black and then my eyes turn beady and I look like a Somalian pirate. And that's just crazy. I scare myself. I am the captain now. No, that shit's crazy. <laughs> my eyes become red bloodshot. I fucking look like... Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> end up looking like Joseph Coney in that bitch, bro. That shit's crazy. Oh, uh, shit. I get black. Beady eyes, and then they turn red. red. Beady eyes, and they turn red. And I look like a completely different person. Like, I scare myself. I'm like, who the fuck is that, bro? Who the hell is that? But... That's pretty much what I did all day, just kind of plant mm-hmm. with uh, the landscapers. And uh, I don't know, I got home, took a mean ass shower, and then I chilled with the shit. There you go with the shit thing again. <laughs> it just never ends. <laughs> it's on your mind 24 uh, 7. Always. Always. Vic's That's gonna crazy. clip this. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't let nobody know that. <laughs> the shit. <laughs> Uh, shit! Stop I'm, exiting us out, bro. Fucking Stop. Exit, mute. Turn off the computer. Everything. You're ruining the quality. I'm done with this shit. Stop playing. I'm tired of hearing shit. Nah, man. 
But I'm tired of hearing about. No, like I said, uh, this week's gonna be exciting. I hope the people of New York um, get out of this very soon because it's always an issue, dude. Oh no, that fire still burns. That fire still burns. Anytime burn. soon. Uh, do you th- like I said, and that's why I asked you. Do you think they're gonna ask the United States for help? Because you know how every time we have a hurricane, they call Georgia, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina electricians, especially if it's super bad. To come Unless help they us out. let us absorb them. If they let us take over Canada, only the United States can do this. Canada, is, um, w- would we get what five more? America. <laughs> no, 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 no! It can't be Canada. Why is Canada in the beginning? Oh, it man. would be Emerita. Emerita. <laughs> What the fuck? Emerita. Emerita. Oh, Not shit. Camer- no, Emerita. Oh, no, shit, you stupid. Yep, let us buy your land, Canada, and we'll, we'll, and save, we'll save you from, you. from forest fires. Yeah. You, you want to be saved, you got... <laughs> we don't we'll want to be save saved. Them. Holy crap. Yeah, but um, no, man, that's all I got, man. I just hope everybody in New York is okay, and hopefully the smoke can, yeah, can clear pretty soon because it, it is bad. Mm-hmm. It is dangerous. Um, and... Um, but that's that's all I got, man. With Anything to look forward to? Oh, Tuesday, <sighs> Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. Okay, yeah. Criminy, so. Jim, Jim. Yeah. So I told Jimmy we're gonna be going live on Tuesday with him, and he's like, "I'm ready." Um, he's like I say, he's gonna give us his perspective, um, about um, getting his money right and all that stuff like that. For the so business, business. Oh yeah, his business, business perspective. Business. So that's gonna be advice. very interesting too, um, and we definitely have to link up with David and. Set something up. Oh, yeah. Set something up with Jimmy and him. That'd be nice. Just so they can have a conversation. They can pick each other's brains. Yes, yes. That'd be amazing. Because their mindsets are so different, so it's going to be very interesting. Maybe we'll create a trinity of melded minds, whoa, whoa, and then a whoa, new whoa, reality whoa, whoa, will whoa, whoa. unfold from that. Yep. We can start a new religion. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> new Jimmy what? and David will start a new religion. Jesus oh, man, that'd Christ. be amazing. You guys are killing that'd me. That'd be amazing. What the fuck? But yeah. All right, man. Take us home. Guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok channel. So if you click on the link, it'll take you directly to the episodes and you can navigate throughout. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment what, uh, about what we're talking about or what we can improve on on the show. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Thank you you thank have a good you. night, weekend, evening, and or day. Thank you, thank you. Thank you.